this is quite a unique place, the 40 foot. And this, this whole bay is a very busy bay and, and the locals get the best value out of it. I mean, it's a huge amenity area for the city. I'm a, sail a sailor in the, in the bay, swim regularly and enjoy it. So it's a huge tourist amenity. So it's not an ideal place for an oil well, is it? Uh, so we play in a football team, so that was come out here just to kind of recover after a hard week's training and stuff like. We've driven all the way out from the centre of the city to find a natural immunity, you know, to find a swim. So I think anything that would threaten that immunity uh, would be monstrous. People come down here on Christmas morning and jump into the 40 foot like it has a like tradition about it, like it'd be a shame to lose it. Like. That's pretty near, yeah, the Kish Lighthouse is 10 I think and you can see that so that's very close. Six kilometres from from a city such as the capital city of the country, it wouldn't appear to be the right place for it. It would horrify me. It would horrify me to think it was so close. I think it's very dangerous. I'd be quite fearful of it. And I'm surprised that it's allowed to come that near. Tell me this, um, with an oil rig, is there danger of, I know there's danger of fire, but is there danger of leakage? We don't do oil rigs normally. What happens if there's an oil spill? Like what? what measures are there in place to stop it. What benefit is it to the people of Ireland or Cork? Would it shock you if I said the deals the government do means we don't own any of the oil if they find it? Oh, that does shock, yeah. Well, it does, except... They're renting our water. No, that depending it? how much they paid up front to explore for the oil. If they paid millions and millions and billions up front, okay, they're taking a risk, they're taking a chance. What if I said they don't pay any money up front? Well, then I'd say it's appalling. Appalling. Out. Absolutely Out. appalling. Out. Like, we're not going to, like, I was just driving past there and it's like 172 for our unleaded, like, like, if it wasn't going to bring it down, should it be no point then at all, like, you know? I have no interest in a private company making a pile of money off something uh, that's sitting in our shoreline and we'll have a, an oil rig out there for quite a, a while. I would have thought like if you're selling it like you'd want to be able to plough back into something like even better roads or something like you know infrastructure or something like that. Like. So giving away the oil and opportunities for to capitalise on a country that's almost bankrupt it's pretty ridiculous really. Uh, what did we get? 5%? 3%? Received from oil found here. Makes no sense. Just gets worse then. I do, I think it's absolutely wrong, but I'm not surprised. I mean, with previous governments, they've just sold us out. Uh, I mean, the, the people, we the people, are the last to know and benefit from these things. So private deals done under the table, I don't know. Well, I mean, that's just that's just all. It's just wrong. That's just making up. In my opinion, very that's very just wrong. I mean, that's crazy stuff. Resource. Seems like the bad way to go, and we've done that, yeah. We've helped out the bankers already, so I mean, why not help out the oil companies? You know? Mm. That is very disappointing. So, what do we do then about it?